In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 7, Section 3, No Calculator, Questions 16 through 18, the start of the grid end. We know these will be much easier questions than the last, where we did the end of the problem solving. Some students, if they feel that the end of the problem solving questions, let's say 13, 14, or 15, are difficult and take a lot of time, they may want to jump ahead, get these easy questions out of the way, and then return in the remaining time. And they're all worth the same, so I think it's a good strategy if, if math is a weaker subject for you. Question 16. If 2x plus 8 equals 16, what's the value of x plus 4? And so you could just simply solve this. Uh, you want to be careful. It's not asking for x. We have to solve for x plus 4. So we could get 2x equals 8. x equals 4. But remember, we're asked to find x plus 4. It's 8. Another way to do it is if you recognize x plus 4 is exactly half of this. So if we divide both sides by 2, we get what we want. We get that x plus 4, and the answer is 8. And so, again, not a hard question, but sometimes you'll see more elaborate questions. You want to look for shortcuts like that instead of solving and then plugging back in. Here, we can just find what we're looking for in one step. All right, let's take a look at number 17. In the figure above, MQ and NR intersect at point P. So here's point P, NP equals QP, so NP equals QP, MP equals PR. What's the measure in degrees of QMR? So QMR, so M is the middle. This is what we want to find, this angle here. All right, so let's start with this information that's given. These two triangles, so this triangle here and this triangle, these are similar triangles, right? Because actually they're equal triangles. They have two of uh, they have two of the same sides here, so that means all the angles have to be equal. And we want to get down here. And so the first step is, well, let's say this bottom triangle, we know that straight line, the supplementary angles have to be 180, so we know that this is 120. So this on the bottom, because these two lines are equal, that means this is isosceles triangle, this triangle on the bottom. So if it's isosceles triangle, that means both of these angles have to be equal. What's remaining after we subtract 120 from 180? We're left with 60. Both of these have to be equal, and so they both have to be 30. This is a pretty straightforward question. And the answer is 30. All right, let's take a look at the last question on this page, number 18. The number of radians in a 720 degree angle can be written as pi times a, where a is a constant. What's the value of a? You know, there might be one radian question on the test, and just remember, whenever you have a radian question, there are two pi radians in a circle. So if you think about it, if you want to convert radians into degrees, whenever you see a pi, you can put the value 180. And so this question, they're telling us it's 720. I mean, so if you know there's two pi radians in a circle, that means in 720 degrees, that's double a circle, it's going to be 4 pi. And a is a constant. We're asked to find a, so the answer here is 4. Another way of doing that is just plug in. 180, and you can see what number a times we're going to put in a 180 for pi equals 720. It's 4 again. And so there's a couple ways to do it. Just remember, radian questions, two pi radians in a circle, or substitute 180 for pi. 